today we're going to go get some bay scallops. These are the smallest scallops because you get the sea scallops, the big ones, and then you get the bay scallops. They're very, very tasty. I think they're more expensive than the sea scallops. So like, this is a really great spot. I've been told there's a lot of them here. So we're going to go get our equipment now and go get started. We're in a beautiful location right here on Cape Cod Bay. The weather's supposed to be rainy. Uh, but it's 41 degrees. We've got clouds right now, but the seas are calm, the air is calm. So it should be really nice for what we're going to do. The tide is low. It's, um, it's actually a moon tide. So it should be a great day for doing this type of activity. So here's here's one. This is a um, this is a scallop, and this is a bay scallop, and uh, there's a little there's a little meat in there. So we'll take this one with us. There's lots of evidence of what might have been. <clears throat> But there's nothing in there. You know, if I if we go uh, like right here, you know, nothing. Here's another one here. Nothing. So you know, there's there's lots of shells, but nothing in them. Uh, nothing. So here we have. These are the blue mussels here. Those are the blue mussels. And then we got, these are the oysters here. Well, this first spot is turning out to be a dud. Um, I was told it was pretty good, but I only found one so far. So lots of uh, oysters here. Lady slippers, you know, I don't eat those, but um, nothing really. So I'm gonna move to a different location. I know another spot that might be better. The water's crystal clear, but there's nothing, there's no scallops here. That's too bad, we're gonna move. But there is lots of construction going on. It's a good reflection of the Provincetown Pilgrim Monument right in the water. Right now, the tide is dead low. And I just walked this whole little sandy beach area. And there's nothing in here. Not a thing. So here's a, here's a blue mussel. That'll be good eating, uh, but it's just one. We need a lot more where that came from. So it's a, it's kind of a race against time here. We're gonna, you know, the tide's gonna come in fairly quickly, so we need to get out there and, and see if we can't get some of these scallops. It's um, this is my third stop, and uh, we're not gonna give up. We'll keep trying. So now we're um, the end of the. Uh, Right now we're at the end of our ropes. <laughs> we're at the end of our rope. Where we are right now, you can see there's like hundreds and thousands of blue mussels um, here at the outer limits of Provincetown. But we're not looking for blue mussels today. We're looking for a scallop, so we gotta keep keep going. We're gonna walk out all the way. That's Land's End out there. And uh, it stopped raining. So here's a trap of some sort. Oh, now look at that. So these are, uh, this is a uh, an oyster, an oyster pot. It looks like it broke away. 
So these are, uh, yeah, these are lost. This is somebody's uh, oyster grant that broke away from there. It must have floated away from, from somewhere. And they probably don't even know it's here. So it's a ghost trap. And in here, uh, lots of, can you see them? Those are all oysters. Lots of them. I don't know. Somebody's property, so. But they'll never get them, but look who's down here. Look who's down here. That. That's a dead, nothing in there. It's a scallop and nothing in there, but it's too bad. But anyways, it's not what I'm here for. I'm heading that way, out to the island. Well, my, well, my plan today wasn't to hike Cape Cod Bay. It was to come here and get some uh, scallops pretty quickly and then go home and cook them up. But uh, I'm still not having much luck here. I, we're on uh, Wood End now. And uh, it's quite a hike. Riff raft floated in. Off a boat. There's the lighthouse there. Yeah. yeah, it's just amazing all the all the things that wash up here. You know, life preserver. I don't know what that is, a big some big can. Ballast, some type, maybe for a sailboat. Hard walking in here on this, on all this uh, grass, sea grass that's washed up. Pots and pieces of boats. Lots of buoys. All kinds of stuff washes up. And uh, this is the high tide line here as we head over to the lighthouse. Right now we're on the Cape Cod National Seashore property. It's on a, it's not really on an island, but it seems like it because you have to cross this huge causeway to come over it. But this is um, the Wood End Lighthouse. And so this is the little structure, probably where they kept all their supplies. And it uh, looks like it's been broken into. And uh, because people have been drinking out here. But anyways, uh, I don't know what's in here. Oh look, somebody sleeps out here. There's a bed. Wow. Yeah, a lot of garbage. And that's about it. And uh, there's your ceiling here. And uh, yeah, that's what's in here. I might as well close the door. <sighs> Okay, high voltage. So I guess this is what powered the lighthouse. So now I'm just gonna bushwhack over to the lighthouse here. 
Good thing I got my boots on because these are all prickers. Wow. All right, this is uh, restricted too. They got a lock on here, so you can't go in. Intense sound signal. Oh, this is like a, this is a foghorn. A foghorn lighthouse. Wow. There's nobody out here. Just me and the birds. There's your window. Yeah. So if you've never been out here, this is what it looks like. Yeah. It's starting to rain harder. And of course, I don't have my um, foul weather gear. So it looks like I'm gonna get wet. But I don't mind. I like just being out. Well, I, I tried. I, the tide's now coming in very rapidly and I have to get back. It's raining out and I only got one scallop and he's, he's right here. And so I'm gonna wait for the next storm to come and then I'll get up early and go out there before light and start looking around and see if we can't get some of those delicious scallops. And um, I'm still very happy though because I got to see a lot and here I am right now and I got this beautiful lighthouse behind me, this wood end lighthouse. And uh, you know, I can't ask for a better view, even though it's overcast and it's February day. And uh, I don't know, it's an adventure. And that's the thing about life is, you're not always gonna get what you want, but it's a lot of fun along the way. You know, it's just enjoying all, every moment. And uh, there's so much to see and there's not a soul out here. I can hear a jet plane up in the sky right now, but beyond that, I just hear the ocean, the waves crashing on the beach and the rain hitting the, uh, the ground and that's it. And so it's very quiet and peaceful. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, I think next we're heading up north. And so uh, until next time, this is Salty Head and thank you again for watching.